Jamie McSweeney getting ready for another day on the job and another thousand dollars as one of the world's premier hard hats. His heavy construction work is hundreds of feet below the surface, installing offshore oil platforms and repairing critical pipelines in the North Sea. Working at these extreme depths, it is impossible for him to swim to the surface in an emergency and survive. It is also impossible for him to go home after a work day. For 30 days at a stretch, Jamie and the other divers literally live, breathe, and sleep their work together, under pressure in these steel cocoons. Like Aspace, they work in an alien environment where accidents on and off the job can be fatal. If you sort of come from 10 times the pressure we are now to zero pressure in you know, less than a second, you'd literally explode. Um, in a confined space anyway, but uh, it wouldn't be very nice, I don't think. Along with the discovery of oil in the North Sea in the 60s, came the stories of the sport divers and adventurers who found their treasures working in the offshore oil fields, building and repairing oil platforms and pipelines. Long on daring and short on training, many of them developed their high-priced skills on the job in very unforgiving environments. These underwater mercenaries could make a year's wages in only a month's time. I think from the time you walk through the gate into prison, some level of awareness steps up in your body. As you encounter inmates on a big yard uh, or in a cell block where they're just walking past you in droves, you never know what's going to happen. I've seen many officers assaulted. I've seen stabbings occur right in front of me, uh, alarms, uh, fist fights right in front of me. Uh, I've seen so many things that you just become more aware of a prison. Crips. Crazy. The inmates that they screw with. Well, that's how they'll line up here and I'll be back up. They have unwritten law about me not certain things. Yeah, suicide. All right. All right, one boy. How's going, gents? Ready to come in yet? For 10 years, Sergeant Fred Schroeder has walked the walk and talked Watch the talk. Watch now, you're going to...